Hi, welcome to this episode of Stage Analysis. So today I'll be talking about the stage analysis. Uh, there are a total of four stages which usually happens in the market. Okay, so um, we will cover all the four stages. Uh, we will go with uh, the, the short theory first and then we will look at it on the charts and you will be able to explain much better. Lah, okay, so uh, all stocks move in waves and all stocks have their very own stages. Okay, they will undergo their own stages and the stock market is actually governed by cycles. Okay, so always remember these four stages, stage 1 to stage 4, which I'll explain briefly uh, later, and all stocks will go through the same cycles. So don't be fooled um, by those who say you can buy a stock and hold it for long term without looking at the risk or price actions. Okay, any stock can actually come down eventually or so. Okay, uh, we move over to the charts now. Okay, so if we have a look at this chart, let's say a chart called Kixing, okay? Kixing actually went IPO in uh, back in uh, 2002, okay? And uh, if you actually look at the chart, it's a uh, slightly uptrend, okay? You can see it's kind of like an going up here. Okay, then it kind of consolidated, then came down here, and then it charged again. Okay, so... Um, one stock can actually go through the stage, uh, stage cycles multiple times. Okay, it's just not just once, not like you know it just happens once and it never happens again. Nah. Okay, so the cycle actually repeats itself. So you can see it's kind of going up higher and higher over here. Okay, and then uh, up until here, it's going uh, quite parabolic. Okay, you can see it's going uh, much steeper. Lah. Okay, you can see it's much steeper. Okay, and then it goes up to about this level. So and when it comes to about this level, you notice that the stock is actually moving sideways. Okay, it's not going higher, it's not going lower. You can see here it's like, you know, just within here. And here also just within this zone. Lah. Okay, and subsequently it comes down. Okay, it comes crashing down over here. So this is um, another stage. Okay, so um, market comes in four stages. It's This is stage one. Uh, this is what we call accumulation lah. okay after accumulation then it will go up this will be called a markup phase lah. okay markup so this is where you will get all the news and all those kind of things and then uh, you will reach this phase this is the third phase this is what we call distribution okay so this is stage three and finally, you will have stage 4, uh, which is uh, the sell down. Lah. Okay. So, of course, um, everyone will um, prefer to be in uh, the markup stage. Okay. Uh, and then, if let's say you're shorting the market, everyone will prefer to be in the sell down phase. Lah. Okay. So, for longer term traders, usually they will uh, tend to look for stocks where they can actually buy while they are still in the accumulation stage okay so uh, let's go back to the chart okay since it's an IPO stock it's just a small area where it's accumulating okay it's very small it's just about this area and then it already broke out and continued okay so this is literally a small stage one but because it's IPO and then it went over to stage two Okay, so this is, uh, if you look at it, this is S2. Okay, so when you reach over here, this is actually S3. This is the distribution area. And then uh, once it's done distributing, it goes down. So this is actually step stage 4. Okay. And then when you look at this area over here, this is actually back to another stage 1. Okay, so it's accumulating over here. And then it goes higher. Okay, you can see it's going higher, much higher up to here. Okay, this is just a pullback. Okay, and then it goes higher again up until here. Okay, and then it starts to have this distribution. Um, but for Kixing, the distribution is not as um textbook as what you see. Later, I will show you another stock which is actually pretty much textbook. Okay, so you can see that here there is already you know selling over here. Okay, you can see the selling started, and uh, from then the selling is uh more aggressive. Okay, you can see this more aggressive and it's slowly going down. So it, the, the, the stage three actually ended about this area over here. Okay, and continue from there, it's all stage four. Lah. Okay, it was stage four until about this area over here. Okay, sorry, the arrow is a bit long. Okay, it was all the while stage four until about this zone over here. Okay, 
so when it reach over here you notice that actually this entire area is a square okay uh, you can see it's something like this okay this is actually back to stage one okay so uh, it literally just broke out now after like a accumulation of about what, three years okay a three years accumulation uh, if I'm not wrong, Kexing is a kind of a fundamentally strong stock. It's, there are fundamentals behind it, lah, okay? Uh, but I'm not so sure uh, whether the fundamentals are in play already or not. So, the way I see it is this stock is entering into stage 2, lah, okay? That's how I see it, okay? So, uh, you have to see lah, whether it's a correct prediction or not, okay? Uh, it's not a buy or sell call. Uh. Disclaimer, it's not a buy or sell call. I'm, I am just seeing the stock that it's like already in a stage 2 um, uh, stage. Okay. Uh, this stock is quite textbook. Gretek. Okay. So, Gretek actually, if you look at the daily chart, it's very, very obvious. Uh, okay. So, same case. Uh, just like uh, the, 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 the Kexing. Kexing was also IPO stock. So, uh, I mean from the IPO, Gretek also IPO over here. So you can see that uh, since IPO, uh, it's there, there's not much of accumulation because you IPO, okay? You already accumulated during the IPO itself, okay? Um, then it's kind of, it, it didn't really move much higher, so it's like about here, then it came back down after here. So from here, it's actually already stage 2, okay? So uh, you can see that you're stage 2 in for quite some time, okay? you kind of stage 2 until this area over here, sorry this area over here okay and then you can see that it's actually quite standstill okay it's not going anywhere it's like a it's like a straight line okay left to right horizontally so if you actually look at it you'll be about something like this okay it's actually just straight okay and then uh, after this stage 3 distribution is done uh, the, the the sell sell down has arrived lah. so it came down quite a lot okay so um if we look at all the four stages, let's say we have a stage one over here. Uh, sorry. We have a stage one. Okay. Stage one is accumulation. Uh, like I mentioned just now. So what happens during stage one is usually the stock is not hot. No one is aware about the stock. Okay. It's literally not hot at all. Um, but all these people who know about the fundamentals of the company are slowly accumulating it during stage one. Okay. So they actually buy earlier than people lah. Uh. Okay, there are pros and cons of uh, buying a stock in stage one. Uh, the pros is of course you get the cheapest lah. Okay, you get at a rate where where when you see the stock you're like wow so cheap. You know how come nobody has seen this before? And true enough, nobody has seen it before, so you get it for a very cheap price. Okay, because it's not it's like um it's it's not known to 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 much people lah. Okay, okay, so that's the pros. The cons of it is you have no idea how long you will need to wait. Okay, because you don't know when um the market will start recognizing the potential or the true value of the stock. You don't know when the operators will decide, okay, it's time, we're collected enough, we're going to push it up. Okay, so those are the pros and cons of stage one. So if if a trader were to look at uh, um, a chart, okay, uh, four stages, last stage one to stage four, a trader will definitely say they will join in uh, stage two. Okay, so um, if you look at here, Traders will say they will join somewhere here lah. Okay, when it breaks out over here, then they will start joining. Okay, they will go into stage 2. Okay, what you need to know about stage 2, which is the uptrend. Stage 2 is usually where um, most traders are afraid to enter because it's the start of a new bullish trend. Okay, that's number one. That's the first thing. And the second one is usually um, not much news has actually appeared lah. Okay, in the, in the, uh, for, for the stock. Okay, that's what you need to know. Okay, and what you need to know is usually you, you won't hear much of the stock at that point of time. Okay, you won't hear much news. Um, you, you will maybe hear a little here and there, or you may hear, you know, there's a new CEO coming in, or you may hear, uh, there's a change of management and stuff like that. So, what, what, all these are actually small things and you may like you may kind of doubt okay usually you need to know you need to remember that price actions move um uh before the fundamentals react okay the price action 
has already moved so that's why we say (uh) price action discounts everything [lah] the market discounts everything so before (uh) the 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 news has already occurred let's say you know maybe they they secured a million dollar or a few hundred million dollar deal (uh) which is (uh) positive news to the stock before it has already secured before it has secured the stock has already started running higher okay so (uh) that is when stage two happens okay stage two can start with very high volume it can start on some fundamental news okay it has a few characteristics to it [lah] which I won't be going in detail okay so that is a stage two trend okay you need to keep an eye (uh) that is basically all traders favourite place [lah] okay and then (uh) after we are done with stage two we will talk about stage three okay so this is stage three stage three is what we call the distribution phase okay distribution phase in the is in the sense that people who have accumulated from stage one especially (uh) will start to offload their holdings over here okay (uh) you will see there is not much of a push higher and there's not much of a push lower okay if you look at you know when in stage two the impulse is quite obvious it keeps climbing whereas here it, there isn't really much impulse lah okay for this stock is quite obvious because you see this is the high second one is lower high then here is another lower high and here is another lower high so the stock is already not able to break its previous high like i always mentioned um for a stock to continue going higher it must always be able to break its previous high okay to form a higher high so here in stage three um people who have accumulated over here you imagine if you buy it for like less than one ringgit and you're selling it for like seven ringgit you're already at what 700 percent profit okay you will gladly sell everything over here okay so you will notice that volume is not really that um tremendous over here okay uh, it has already started selling it, it, i will presume that it has started selling about here okay you see very high volume with a shooting star candle it's not a bullish thing to to, to have lah okay it's actually quite bearish okay um but of course that is just a candlestick study uh there are many things behind it that you may need to understand more lah before you can conclude it's it's actually uh confirmed bearish confirmed reversal or not okay so uh it, it's actually distribution around here okay and you see there's not much volume coming in as a bit dry some needs to be higher but whatever it is also it, uh, it never forms a higher high okay it's always lower okay so that's stage three and also stage three will usually have the highest number of news okay you will see a lot of news maybe it secures more contract you know the profit becomes very good you know like glove previously the profit is superb and people start wondering like how can the profit is so good but you know the stock price is going down because the market has already priced in that good profit okay so that's why there comes the term i like sell on news you know or people say buy on rumors okay so those usually most of the time all the good news or all the bombastic stuff will usually come in stage three okay which is the distribution phase okay this is actually the phase which traps most retailers lah okay because um retailers they tend to you know follow the news and if let's say uh, a stock comes and tell you like oh we the stock has secured the company has secured uh 500 million ringgit job you know and retailers be like oh secure 500 million job you know it's going to be very good for the future you know the quarter report is going to be excellent and so on so they tend to go and buy into the stock okay and then they'll get stuck because basically retailers will end up take buying the stock from the operators from people who have accumulated from stage one itself okay so uh, you need to know lah, okay when the stage is uh, usually a very handy tool will be to use the 30 days 30 weeks moving average which is the 150 days lah, okay so if you look at here it's actually quite steep moving and when it breaks down over here you can see from here itself it's starting to bend that means this is already the end line you you already cross um the uh, uh uh uptrend line already lah okay it's already going down but of course moving average is still a lagged indicator lah if you compare it with the rest okay whereas for the 50 day moving average at about here is you can see that the the, the trend line is already not so nice you know even from here itself is already um flattening okay it's already about going uh, left to right lah from here you see it's always uptrend but this one after that it came back up and you can see it's again coming down here lah, just like about here okay so um that is one guide you can have to to know you know what 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 stage is the stock currently in you know maybe uh, maybe two maybe three okay so uh let me just clear all this
okay so once it's all done over here then uh, once it has distributed and everything that means all these institutional people all the big fund holders are no longer inside there will be no one left to actually push the stock up okay and when there's no one left to push the stock up that's when the stock comes down lah. so that's what we call stage four which is the sell down stage okay uh, more often than not it's mostly retailers only okay it's not supported by uh, heavy funds so when it's only retailers you don't have so much cash the stock is pushed down tremendously okay so uh, here you can see it's sold down okay but uh, usually during the start of stage four you will still receive good news okay like um, the company you know has ventured into a new thing has bought a new land it's opening is expanding another factory and stuff like that you need to consider that all those has already been priced into the stock previously okay so when the stage four happens usually the stock gets sold down quite badly okay and uh, when it's already sold down quite badly uh, no bankers will lose money because they have already sold okay and at the end of a stage four you await to see the return of a stage one lah, okay like um kixing just now so i i wouldn't say that this is already in a stage one of course this looks like really a stage one lah, okay it, it, it looks quite nice just like this over here okay and then here doesn't seem like it's going to stage two lah so i think uh for here maybe this entire thing is still considered as a stage one okay it hasn't really entered into a stage two yet okay so um that's actually uh, almost about all for stage one to stage four analysis the stage analysis in a stock market lah okay uh it's actually a very important thing to have uh because uh, market move in cycles okay it's always in cycles it's never it's never one company forever going higher and higher and higher. Okay, uh, we can have a look at another one, this one. Okay, this company actually sells snacks. Okay, if I'm not wrong, they sell snacks. Okay, so IPO, stage one is very obvious here. Very nice base over here. And comes the stage two. Stage two rocketed. Okay, you just imagine over here. It took about 54 trading days. Uh, 55 uh, about 80 days okay so in three months you if let's say you bought at stage one you have earned 150 percent okay it's about 150 percent okay and then basically this stage three you can't use the 150 days moving average because there's no 150 days data okay until here only got 150 days so if you look at it here it's actually quite obvious lah every day there is a higher week over here that means there's already people selling okay and if let's say you were unsure of it okay you can you you also can see that you know starting from here um there is some uh, form of resistance that is not able to break okay three consecutive days and subsequently if let's say lah you still never catch lah okay this one I don't think you will catch. You will consider it as a pullback because it's quite low volume. But you should be able to detect here lah. Okay, it's very high volume. Okay, so high volume selling is never a good thing. Okay, just keep that in mind. So if you ask me, I think the stage three was done quite quick lah. It's about here. Okay, and now it's literally in stage four lah. Okay, I'm not sure when it wants to turn change it back, change itself back to stage one. Because you can see it's quite steep. Okay. From here to here is about what 30% already. <coughs> okay. So st stage analysis happens everywhere. It doesn't matter whether it's like a it's it's like a it's a stock index commodity, it will always happen. Lah. Okay, there are always cycles in the market. Okay. So remember stage analysis, remember the four stages because you will always see it and it will be very important uh, in your technical analysis. Okay, so that will be all uh, from me for the stage analysis um, episode. Okay, feel free to comment if let's say you have any other questions, you feel you have doubts, uh, you feel free to comment and I will try my best to reply. Okay, so uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, if you found it useful and educational, please uh, like, share uh, to your friends so that more people can learn and also subscribe to my channel for more uh, educational videos and uh, informative videos like this. Okay, that will be all for, uh, for this episode. Lah. Thank you. Bye bye. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button.
and subscribe for more videos.